our tale of the tape for this battle of former champions. And it, that's what we were talking about. 6'2 to 6'6. Six, six. He's actually about 6'1, I'm being honest. But that 79 inch reach is very close to that 81. Does Phil Davis sit in a kickboxing match or does he take him to the ground and do what he did in their first fight? He did tell us one thing. He will be aggressive earlier in this fight than he was in his last fight against Nemkov. Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA now moves to the light heavyweight division set for three five minute rounds live on DAZN. We introduce the blue corner at six foot six. He weighed in at 205.2 pounds, a former Bellator light heavyweight world champion. He stands with 13 professional victories, three defeats. Originally from England, he now fights out of Huntington Beach by way of Honolulu, Hawaii, presenting Leah McGeary. And across the cage, his adversary, out of the red corner, at six foot two, weighing in 205.6 pounds, the former Bellator light heavyweight world champion brings 19 professional victories, five defeats. By way of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, he fights out of San Diego, California, introducing Phil, Mr. Wonderful David. In charge of the action, your referee, Blake Grice. Blake Grice, our referee. Phil Davis not only took the belt from Liam McGeary, but he handed the Brit the first loss of his professional career. Phil, you ready? Liam, he wants fight. that back first, and then another shot at the belt. Here we go! Red gloves for Phil Davis, blue gloves for Liam McGeary. One of the things you can see right away is Liam McGeary has a much wider base than he did the first time he faced Phil Davis, but then he has had that base before and gotten his leg kicked and damaged, and that's what happened in this fight against Nemkov, so we're gonna see exactly where this leads. Common opponents in Vadim Nemkov for both McGeary and Davis. Phil lost the split decision in Tel Aviv, and the leg kicks were vicious in Nemkov's in Nemkov's win over Liam McGeary. He ended that fight with leg kicks yeah. to the point where Liam couldn't stand up and the referee stopped the fight. That is damage, and, and you can see his leg. It actually damaged Nemkov's foot and leg too, but he just took an incredible amount of abuse on that lead leg. And that's when everything changed, though, for Liam. That's when he said, I got to do things differently. Oh, Made nice. his way out to Huntington Beach, and here we go. Nice head movement, nice slipping of the punches by Liam McCary. He's actually looking like he is confident in what he's doing, going out there. Phil is not that real aggressive guy. We talked about that when we were talking to him, Mike. And, you know, he promises, I'm going to start faster. You know, sometimes that's easy to say and not so easy to do, depending upon what your opponent's doing. That was a nice shot by Phil. But he is definitely going right back at being the kickboxer and not the wrestler. This is a guy who was an NC2A champion from Penn State. The fourth four-time All-American in Penn State history. Good kick by Phil, checked by Liam. Good rematch to the best light heavyweights to ever compete inside the Bellator cage. Horse Ryan Bader, our heavyweight and light heavyweight champion. Bader, the man who took the belt from Davis. Davis, the man who took the belt from McGeary. Heavy leg kicks from Mr. Wonderful. Good use of that jab. He's keeping Liam at leg, keeping him where he wants. One of the things Phil does very well is he does move his feet and creates angles, and a lot of times he'll step himself off towards his left, creating an angle and bring a right high kick to the head. Phil Davis has never been stopped in his professional career. Tonight is 26th professional fight.
Bellator fans, you want the same gear the fighters wear and more? Find new official Bellator MMA gear, Kimbo Slice bobbleheads, and much more at BellatorShop.com. Right hand leg, low kick in, and a good combination by Mr. Wonderful. I think this is a nice job of Phil opening up, going after it, and landing multiple kicks, throwing his hands. That, that nice low leg kick that he hit McGeary with, you can see it actually turned Liam's entire body around. It landed solid. Not a slow start tonight for Phil Davis. No, he's looking good. He's pressuring. He's not overextending. Superman punch. That's a Superman punch that covered an entire cage. <laughs> That's what 6'6 six, six will do you. I mean, we asked Phil about, you know, the different techniques that coaches will use in team sports, individual sports. And he said, guys, I've tried warming up every way possible to, to simulate that warm up was round one. So I could start more quickly in the real round one. He goes, I don't know why, but I'm going to try to change it tonight. And so far, so good. He is looking good. Liam's looking good. Liam's doing yes. a good job. But Liam is he's becoming the guy who's second in these exchanges, and you want to be the guy who's first. Every time that you're seeing when Phil throws that kick, Phil throws his hands, Liam has got to be countering and throwing something back to make Phil have to actually deal with something. If he doesn't, Phil's going to start getting more and more confident in everything he's doing. Went to the body, follow with the kick. Phil's had no damage there, my British friend. Head kick, swing and a miss. Stop. Jab firing in his face, and, yeah. the, and the two is there. Yeah. Keep your lateral movement. Don't just stand in front of him. Lateral yeah. movement and throw. That's right. You that know what he's doing. Beautiful too. Yeah. Yep. You Get know what he's going. doing. Got to pressure saying, him. Show it to him. See when McGarry's throwing. Yeah. Look at that yeah. hand. It lands, and that's what he, that's what he needs to do. Yeah. He needs to start again. throwing. Great, great job. Use that One, jab two, at three, length. Two. Keep Phil on the end of your jab. Phil comes in, then start throwing that right straight down the pipe to make him pay for trying to gain that ground. Tiki talking to Liam McGeary, Eric Del Liam, Fierro, fight. the leader of Alliance MMA, down in San Diego, giving the instructions for round two to Phil Davis. Red gloves for Phil Davis, blue gloves for Liam McGeary, Mike Goldberg. Big John McCarthy, Jay Glazer, Chael Sonnen, Josh Thompson, Jen Brown, our entire crew. Great to be here inside the Shark Tank, live and exclusively on the zone. Two titles on the line tonight. Oh, just missed with that right hand. It touched him a little bit, but it was not the one that landed flush. You're right, but that's exactly... I, I like what I'm seeing out of Liam. He's listening to his corner in trying to create more pressure in this second round. And you see Phil responding to that pressure. Those leg kicks are going to start to add up. Take a look at the hematoma on the left shin of Liam McGeary, Mike. It is starting to get big. And remember, John, in round one, I said that kick checked by Liam, but those still hurt, and that's the effect of checking that kick. It is, and, and you know, that, it, it looks like, you know, when it's, a guy's moving around like Liam. Liam's not really, you know, making it a big deal in the fight. But all it takes is just one more shot on that, and then your leg just is not working correctly. Leg kicks, especially that low leg kick, calf kick, it has become such a special tool in MMA. And when your lower leg starts to go dead, it's very hard to have good balance or good power. Bone on bone is never good for either man, really. The damage, though, is very visible, as my partner pointed out, on the lead leg of Liam McGeary. Happy birthday to his son, Dragon, who just turned one on April 22nd. 
And instead of checking those kicks, like you normally would want your fighter to do, he's starting to eat those kicks to the thigh. Yep. And Phil is starting to see it. He's seeing that, you know what, I'm able to land these, and he's not checking it. So he's going to have a free reign of doing it. That knee tap is something that Phil Davis used in his first fight to get Liam down. It didn't work this time. Phil very comfortable in this stand-up matchup thus far, which is something that Josh Thompson was talking about at the desk. It, it's not that Phil has gotten away from his bread and butter when you look at a guy who's never been stopped, has had all five losses by decision, and three of them have been split decisions. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and it's like, you look at him, if you're Phil Davis, Phil has respect for Liam on the ground. Liam is a solid black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He is good and he has pulled off submissions on guys that haven't missed, you know, Tito Ortiz, he put into a, a, a backside triangle and you look and you go, who else has done that? No one. Well, look at Liam is good on the ground. So Phil, in his mind, if he's like, I feel like I'm controlling everything in the stand-up game and I am I'm hurting him. Well, I understand why he's staying here, but it only takes one shot. One shot to change all of that, and that is the danger of the stand-up game. And don't forget the head kick finish of Lynn Bissell in London for Phil Davis. Well, you saw Phil trying to land that same kick yep. in the last 10 seconds of the first round, and that's on a guy that's standing six foot six inches tall. Superman punch. Fell short of McGeary. 13th fight inside the Bellator cage. 13 and three record overall. He's always said I am a fighter, not a competitor. I'm relaxed, pace myself. Got a sneaky ground game. But I'm happy to exchange, and that is what we have seen thus far. Good use of lateral movement by Phil Davis. That, that leg kick is starting to have an effect. I'm telling you, this is the second round. Going into the third, that's going to be a real problem for Liam. And you're seeing that lateral movement by Phil. Phil is seeing things. There you go again. He's seeing it. That left hand and the jab is coming out. And you can see Liam pushing the pace here late in the round. Knowing that that leg is starting to be depleted quickly. Well, Liam wasn't lying about being in shape. He is absolutely in shape. He recovered well from the first round. He has do done a lot of work here, but he is getting damaged on that lower left leg. A lot of guys will switch stance when their lead leg has been damaged or continues to be damaged. We have not seen that at this point from Liam McGeary. Listen, we have to go after him this round, okay? We're going after him. You're not reaching, right? You're not reaching him with the two. Look at that solid yes. leg kick. Yeah, come after him. From Phil Davis. There's the low one. You can see. Okay. Let's go. That this is, is going to be all around Liam. Let's go. There it's right on the knee. He's taking that, bringing it up into the thigh, down under the knee, down under the calf, varying the angles. There it's low. Everything you train All for. of those kicks tight. are adding up to a round. lot of damage. You, you can don't see leave the ice anything in here. being placed on that you left leg. You go after and that's what I was you talking about at the beginning round. of the fight when I saw finish Liam come round. out. And Let's he had go. that wide come base. On. That wide base is to keep him up. But you're putting your leg out in a place where it can be attacked, and that is what has happened. The wide base to help with the takedown defense. You ready? You ready? Sometimes Fight. that means you're going to take some heavy kicks, and that has certainly been the case. Big John after two rounds. After two rounds, in my opinion, Phil Davis has controlled the, the placement, the positioning, and landed the better shots in this fight. He's got both rounds 10-9. Vadim Nemkov with those leg kicks. Finished Liam McGeary at 402 of the third of that fight. Of course, that big knockout we showed you of King Mo was Liam's last fight. The one thing Liam's doing is you're watching this fight. 
Here comes Phil taking down. John, I was just about to say we haven't even seen a shot or a takedown attempt, and there it is. Exactly. Well, Liam was, he, he's pressing forward, but he's staying in a straight center line with Phil. He needs to try to create those angles. <laughs> wow. Beautiful movement by Phil. That was, that was a nice move by Liam to get himself through it. Phil now coming under the arm. Smart play by Phil Davis. When you throw that shot of the arm, the fighter cannot see it coming. When we asked Phil about a chance to get his belt back, he said, quite simply, I'm just going to keep beating the guy in front of me, take care of the task at hand. And tonight's task is trying to finish Liam McGarry, and he might do it with one of his famous submissions. Kind of watch the angle of those elbows. Yeah, the elbows were good. It's just a matter of the location. But all of those were good elbows. Yep. But the referee is just, just watch where it's landing. Oh, that was a nice shot right there. You give him up. That is a clean shot. Nice job by Phil Davis. Well, slip by McGarry. Phil's look very good. He's looked very good in this. Yeah, just the movement he had on the ground. You're looking at a guy who has got a complete game. It's just a matter of pushing that pace a little bit to finish that fight, because that's what he needs to do. Push it to the point you're breaking your opponent, and I don't think he can break it. Liam, as far as the confidence that Liam is fighting with, and the, just the, the anger he's going after Phil, he wants to go after him even though he's dead. Liam's only been finished twice, and both of those were in the third round of fights. The leg kicks we mentioned, and then Vassell with that submission with the arm triangle choke. Has the midway point of this third and final round. Former champ against former champ. The winner hoping to have a chance to be a champion again. This is very good pressure by Liam McGeary. He is pressing the pace of this fight. He is making Phil work at a pace that it's not quite comfortable with. But that's a big knee right there by Phil Davis. Come on, move forward, Liam. Yeah, I'm having a hard time saying that Phil doesn't look wonderful to me. <laughs> you know what? He is. Yes, I just did. He is looking very good tonight. Landing good shots, getting himself away from danger when he needs to. Because Liam is pressing this fight, he is going after it. You can take nothing away from Liam McCurry as far as what he's trying to do tonight. He is giving no quarter to Phil Davis. He's giving everything he has in this fight. And partner, that's sometimes the case is, is the guy like Liam McGeary, when he tells us everything's changed, he's in a great place, he's fighting better than he has, he's got great confidence. He got hit with a big left yeah, hand, he's in trouble. Coming in, that hurt Liam McGeary bad. All those things can be true, but if your opponent is putting on a performance like Phil Davis is tonight, it nullifies all those positives. Phil Davis has 54 seconds right now. He's Finishes Liam McGarry. Okay. It started with that shot that you talked about that hurt him. Absolutely. It's a shot. It didn't look like much, but it was the, the combination of Phil Davis throwing that shot and Liam McGarry coming forward on it. It landed, it landed flush, and you could see that it damaged Phil. I'm sorry, it's damaged Liam and caused him to go down to the ground and he couldn't do anything from that point on. That little shot right there on the chin, you can see him going down. It hurt him. He goes right into a mount from it, which is telling you that Liam, whatever it was, his brain was shutting off in his ability to control his body and what he's doing. Right down, he was hurt. You never know it. Just that shot right there. That's the one. You can see him going down, and then I think he actually hurt his knee as he was taken down to the ground by Phil Davis. These shots hurt him. And you see, as he comes under here, there's the tap out. Hey. Mr. Wonderful well, with the win. Great job, bro. Good push.
Phil Davis, it will go down as a submission victory, but John, it was a striking clinic unlike any we have seen from Phil Davis previously yeah, yeah, yeah. in his career. Well, I will tell you, that was a very impressive performance, in my opinion, by Phil Davis because he had a guy that was giving nothing as far yeah. as he was going to give everything he had to beat Phil in that fight. He was pressuring him. He was trying to hit him at times. He was doing everything he could. He was not going to give up in any fashion until that one shot hurt him, and he ended up in a position where he couldn't get himself out. No. Liam McGeary put on one heck of a fight, but I'm not sure if that jaw didn't get hurt and might have broken, and that was the problem. And also, the choke started to come around. Squeeze. He's going, I can't take that anymore. It's enough. And he is spitting blood up at this moment, which is telling me there's a great possibility of that jaw being broken. Two classy dudes, though, and they put on a show. Phil Davis with the victory, Liam McGarry, and we're getting some confirmation that indeed it seems as it is a broken jaw suffered by Liam McGarry. Michael C. Williams with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, referee Blake Grice waves off the contest officially four minutes, 11 seconds into round number three. The winner by TK Home Phil, Mr. Wonderful Davis. Big win for Mr. Wonderful. And he will talk to none other than Big John. You're a little wet there, man. I am here with your winner. Phil, Mr. Wonderful Davis, that was a wonderful performance. I just want you to know that. That was outstanding. How did you feel during that fight, landing the leg kicks that you were landing on him? Did you think that was going to be the difference maker in the fight? Uh, I was certainly hoping so. And um, the, the kicks were something I had success with in the first fight. And especially knowing that Liam's going to come out, I, I fully expected him to be fired up for this fight, ready like he was and coming after me. So uh, I needed that as my neutralizer to stop some of his offense. You landed that leg kick both low on the calf, in the knee, on the thigh, and you could see the damage on his leg. But then in the third round, you decided to take him down. And went after that ground, but it was a weird left-hand shot with him coming in that you broke his jaw, putting him back on the ground, and then that squeeze of your choke, he couldn't take anymore, that's the tap out. How do you feel about your performance here tonight after we talked about what you wanted to do, are you happy with it? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's definitely harder to fight somebody when they're coming after you, swinging big hammers, connecting with some big shots. But uh, you know, all I can say is there's a champion out there that ran around for five rounds, and I'm glad that Liam is a man, stood here and fought with me. If there's a champion that wants to shut me up, I'm here, baby. Well, I'll tell you, that was an incredible performance. Congratulations on a beautiful win. Phil, Mr. Wonderful Davis.